Life is full of surprises. A flat tire, a sudden job loss, or an unexpected medical bill can derail your finances without warning. That's where an emergency fund comes in. An emergency fund is a stash of money set aside to cover unexpected expenses. Without one, you might find yourself in debt or facing tough financial choices when life throws you a curveball. Start building your financial safety net today. Having an emergency fund can be the difference between weathering a financial storm and going into debt. It gives you the financial freedom to face unexpected situations without panicking. Knowing you have a cushion to fall back on can reduce stress and help you make better decisions in difficult times. Imagine this. Your car breaks down and you're facing a hefty repair bill. With an emergency fund, you can cover the cost without relying on credit cards or loans. The golden rule is to aim for three to six months worth of living expenses in your emergency fund. Start small and gradually work your way up. Every little bit counts. Your living expenses include essentials like rent or mortgage payments, utilities, groceries, transportation, and debt payments. Calculate how much you need to cover these expenses for a month. Then, multiply that amount by three to six to get an idea of your emergency fund target. Your ideal emergency fund amount will depend on your individual circumstances, such as your job security, dependence, and risk tolerance. If you have a stable income and a family to support, you might want to aim for a larger emergency fund. Start by setting a smaller, achievable goal, such as saving $1,000. Break down your savings target into smaller, manageable chunks to make it less daunting. Building an emergency fund takes time and effort, but it's easier than you think. The key is to be consistent and to find ways to make saving automatic. Here are a few strategies to get you started. First, create a budget. Track your income and expenses to identify areas where you can cut back and redirect funds towards your emergency fund. Next, automate your savings. Set up a system where a portion of your paycheck is automatically transferred to your emergency fund each month. This pay yourself first approach ensures that saving becomes a habit. Another strategy is to cut expenses. Look for areas where you can trim your spending. Finally, find extra income. Consider ways to boost your income, such as selling unwanted items or taking on a side hustle. Your emergency fund is there for true emergencies, not everyday expenses. Use your emergency fund for unexpected events that could jeopardize your financial well-being, such as job loss, medical emergencies, car repairs, or home repairs. Avoid using your emergency fund for non-emergencies, like vacations or impulse purchases. If you do need to use your emergency fund, replenish it as soon as possible. Adjust your budget or explore additional income opportunities to rebuild your savings Back to your target level. By using it wisely, you can protect yourself from financial hardship and weather life's storms with confidence. Building an emergency fund is one of the most important steps you can take to secure your financial future. It provides peace of mind, financial security, and the ability to navigate unexpected challenges with confidence. Start small, be consistent and watch your savings grow over time. Remember, even small contributions add up over time. For more resources and guidance on building your emergency fund, visit our website at anthonydoty.com.